and welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing very very well today and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is natalie jade i post videos over here at least three times a week and i do have a vlogging channel too so in today's video in case you didn't guess by the title and the giant balloon sat next to me i'm gonna be doing a what i got for my 21st birthday video i absolutely love watching other people do these videos and I mean love watching them I love the Christmas ones the birthday ones all sorts of things like that I just I'm really nosy and I love seeing what other people got and for the last two years I've done this video so this is my third what I got for my birthday video now and I just want to make it clear before we start this video that I'm not bragging in any way shape or form in this video I just want to share with you guys what I got because like I said I adore watching other people's videos like these so I really want to create my own so I really hope you do enjoy this video as I said I'm very very grateful for everything that I've got I did not expect anything and I've been absolutely spoiled this year and I am so so grateful so thank you for everyone that has made my birthday so so special but without further ado I want to get straight on with today's video don't forget to smash that thumbs up button leave me a lovely little comment in that comment section down below and make sure you do hit subscribe as well because it helps us out so so much without further ado let's get straight on with today's video okay i've managed to tame the balloon down a little bit but i want to just get started because i have so much to show you and i'm so so grateful for every single thing that i got so i'm not even going to do this in any sort of order i'm literally i've got everything like sat on the desk next to me and i'm just going to get things one at a time and just show you so the first things that i got were a pair of sony headphones as you guys know i'm a youtuber i do all the social medias and i use headphones every single day of my life for editing for communications, for meetings, everything that I do. So my headphones have got to the point where the earpiece had actually come off, like the plastic had separated, and all you could see was the wires dangling down. But I needed them anyway, so I still use them, but they were really past their best. So I got a pair of headphones, and I'm really, really grateful for that because these are such a practical gift, and yeah they're really really helpful and they're actually really really good at sound quality as well they're also noise isolation because i get really really distracted while working with everyone around me like talking and doing their things i get really really distracted so they were such a great gift idea i then got a new phone case which i got this by the way all these things i got for either my parents or my boyfriend so these ones that i'm showing you right now i got from my parents so i got a brand new phone case because my phone case definitely passed its best i've not put it on yet because i've not used anything for my birthday yet just for the purpose of this video but my phone case is all chipped it's pretty damaged and it's just passed its best so i've wanted a new one for a while and i really really wanted a clear one so you could see the color of my phone because i love the lilac shade in it so my mom got me this it is a clear shell case and it's like one of the kind of softy flexible ones it's parts wireless charging as well which is good because that one i don't think did and it's also got scratch protection which i think is good as well so i'm really grateful for that so the last kind of practical oh no so i've got two more practical items to show you guys and then we're going to be moving on to some more of the cosmetic items so i've got the lightning twin pack and honestly i have needed a new phone charger for the longest time now so this is gonna be so handy this is basically just a twin pack of phone chargers these are a meter long they're made for apple and they're just from tesco's these are gonna be so helpful i've been literally using the same phone wire which isn't even mine it's my mum's i've been borrowing her phone charger moving it between the car to my room to my office all the time so it's so handy to actually have some wires at work and that are actually my own next i got a voucher and this is from my auntie and uncle and i actually was really spoiled with this so my auntie and uncle got me a pandora voucher which i'm so grateful for i absolutely love pandora uh, so they got me this 50 pound voucher which is a lot of money so i cannot wait to be able to spend this and to buy some nice new pandora things i might buy some new rings because i've seen they've got some new collections out but i've also seen some new charms i like so i can't decide yet what to buy but I will definitely, definitely be heading down to Pandora soon and treating myself. I'm going to show you some more of the cosmetic -y items now. I don't know if that's a word, but now it is. And I'm really excited by this. I've got so many new makeup bits for my collection. And I'm so excited to try them all out. So to start off with, I'm going to show you two palettes that my boyfriend bought me. The first one is this one here, which is a Revolution one. This is the Revolution Forever Limitless Neon Heat Palette. 
I firstly absolutely adore the packaging of this. It's so, so nice. It's one of the giant Forever Flawless palettes, which I absolutely love Forever Flawless. They are just, every single one I've had, the pigmentation's great, packaging, just everything about it has been so good. And when I open it up, it has the most beautiful colour story. Like, look at all those beautiful colours. They're so pretty. I'm so excited to try them. I've swatched some of the shimmers already and they are so, so stunning. And I'm so excited to try them. And then the other one that he bought me was a Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bear palette, which I have wanted since it was released. I don't even know how long it's been out now. Maybe like six months to a year. But I've wanted it for that long. And look at how beautiful it is. It's literally stunning. It's like a half and a half. This one's like quite light and like happy with the rainbows and the unicorns and the bright colours. And this one's a lot darker. So it's like two different sides. And then when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. I just love the colour story of it. It is so, so pretty. The shimmers are stunning. It's got some really beautiful colours. And I'm just so excited to give it a go. I really, really want to play with these like reds, oranges, purples, yellows. Look really, really nice. So I'm really, really grateful for those. So thank you so much. And I just love the presentation of it as well. I've got a bit of a display up here with my palettes. And I think that one's going to have to go up there. It just looks really aesthetically pleasing. I feel like a lot of it is the Beauty Bear palettes. The Revolution collabs and the Beauty Bear palettes, they're just stunning he also bought me a tammy revolution golden hour face palette which i wanted for a while never tried it and i feel like i'm very very limited with my contours and bronzers like i use the same one every time so i'm really really excited to try a new one i also love the packaging of this too next i've got a morph palette that my mum tried me to this is beautiful and look at the size of it like it literally fills my whole camera screen <laughs> Uh, this is gorgeous. I'm gonna have to show you it. This is the 39S Such a Gem palette and it is so beautiful. I had actually forgotten she'd got this for me because I had my own it a while ago and I said to her, oh my god, look how beautiful that palette is. I really, really like it. And then all of a sudden she got it for my birthday and I had no idea and I completely forgot and I'd even told her about it. So when I saw it, I was like, how did you know I wanted that? And then she obviously just remembered. But this is what it looks like. These are beautiful shades. They are so, so stunning. I love the different shimmers in this. There's some really, really pigmented shimmers. Like, look at how gorgeous that looks. I love the pinks, the purples. It's got some nudes in there as well. It's just absolutely stunning. I'm so, so excited to test it out. I just love the size of it as well. I'm getting a really nice morph collection going. And now I've got another one to add to it. I've also got two new brushes and I've wanted some new brushes for a while, especially when it came to like packing on my cut crease or my glitter. So I've got this one here, which is the Morph Jacqueline Hill. And this is the JH41 brush. That'll be great for it. And I've also got another one, which is from Beauty Bay. And this is the Zero... Oh no, it's the OG shader brush. These two I both had on my wish list, so I'm really, really excited to have them. I've got one brush that I currently use for my cut crease, and I'm literally using it every single time, so I do need some new ones. I then got the Revolution Ultimate Pigment Base Set. So Revolution brought these out uh, probably about six months ago now, where they brought out pigment base sets, a bit like the P. Louise ones. So they're like coloured eye bases, basically. They brought out some darker ones individually, and then they also brought out a pastel set. I was so frustrated because the pastel set you had to buy as a set and you couldn't buy them individually. But I've been trying to them for my birthday, and look at how pretty they are. They look so nice and I love the packaging. It's got like a rose gold theme. Really, really revolution. Really, really classy. And I really want to put these to the test against P. Louise and see what they're like compared to them. I also love Revolution's eye base in general. It's really nice. So I think these are going to be really good too. I actually opened these. I've not tested them yet. But I opened these just to have a look. And I was so surprised. Like this is how big it is. It's really big. I was expecting it to be like half that size, like this big. Because their little eye base is like half the size of this. So I was expecting it to be quite small. But it's really big. And yeah, they look really, really good quality. So in here, you get five different ones. So you get the blue one, the green, pink, yellow, and purple. They're all quite pastel shades. And I think they all make just beautiful bases. 
I've then got two items from the new Elf X Oreo collection. I actually tried to buy these in Superdrug maybe a month ago because it was all on three for two. So I went to buy these two and another item. But for some weird reason, the three for two wasn't actually working. So I tried to buy it, but then they actually tried to charge me for all three. But I didn't really want to pay for all three because of the three for two offer. So I ended up putting them back and thought I'd try again another day completely forgot about them and my mum got me them for my birthday so the first one is the elf cookies and dreams putty primer i've never tried a putty primer before so i find that really really interesting it just looks like a white kind of like solid and i really want to try it, it looks really really different love the packaging of it as well it just reminds me of a little oreo and then i also got the cookies and dreams palette which is so pretty it's got some nice nudes in there. It's got a really dark kind of like blacky glitter. It's got a dark brown glitter, a beautiful inner corner shade. It's got two really, really nice transition shades and it's got these really nice blues as well. Love how compact the palette is too. It's really nice and small, it just fit in your bag. This is so gorgeous and I'm so grateful. Next, I've got a couple of different items. So I've got a brand new SD card, as I said before, I'm a YouTuber, content creator, so I go through SD cards like nothing else. I know you can delete the footage, but I do a lot of bulk filming, so I might sit and just film for like three hours in one go. And if I do that, then I'm going to fill my SD cards up so fast. Like, I can obviously put them over onto my hard drives and things like that, but if I'm just sat filming and filming, I don't want to have to break off filming to go and then import footage to a hard drive and wait however long. So now I've got a spare SD card. It's a SanDisk one, which is obviously really good. Um, and it's supposed to be an ultra fast one, 64 gigabytes, and it's just going to come in so handy. I'm also forever losing my SD cards, like I put them down and I have no idea where I've put them and then got to find them, like spend half an hour looking for them before I can start filming. Next, I was not expecting this at all, but I'm actually really excited for these. So next I've got this set of colouring pencils. So recently, I say recently, for probably for the last like year, I've enjoyed doing those adult colouring books that are like really therapeutic and really really stress relieving and then when we moved I kind of stopped and then when we moved into the house like recently in the last couple of weeks I've started doing them again so I've got a 30 pack of colouring pencils and this is what they look like they have a beautiful colour range I do apologize for the reflection it's my box lights but yeah they have such a nice colour range you've got like every single colour in there that you'd want and they look really, really pretty. I love the display of them. They are bold mirror pencils for anyone that might be wondering. And I've literally just been grabbing pencils from random different packs and different colours and different brands and things like that. And just trying to make a pencil case full of them just so I had enough colours to actually do some like colouring in. But now I actually have a full set all by the same brand. These are premium artist colouring pencils and I'm really excited to try them out. They look really really nice these are from the works which is obviously a good shop for artistic things like coloring and things like that and i just love that they come in a nice compact case as well so i can just take this with me wherever i want to go i've then got this pigment trio set by beauty bear i saw these online i actually have the age of opulence palette and this is to go with them so when they brought the age of opulence palette out by beauty bear they brought out the pigment trio set although at the time i couldn't afford both so i just got the palette but then i added these to my wish list my boyfriend saw it and he got these for my birthday they are beautiful right now the glitter that's on my lid of my eye is actually one of these so it comes to these three different colors and sizes so this one's like a really kind of purple then you've got this beautiful really really bright blue which i actually tried out yesterday and then this gorgeous gold which is actually what's on my lid today these are ridiculously pigmented they are so beautiful i love the fact that they come in this little pot that you can just stick them back in stick the lid on and they're nice and safe in there all kept together and they also had a piece of sellotape on which I should probably put back on so then you can literally just carry them around with you stick them where you want travel with them really handy I just love how pigmented they are I don't really use loose glitters or loose shimmers at all but the pigment in these is just absolutely stunning I am obsessed really wanted to try them out thought they'd be nice but I didn't think they'd be that nice they're actually in my february favorites from this month well last month they're just really late favorites next i've got another palette and i actually think this is the last palette i just missed this one out when i was showing you guys so this is the friends x revolution their big palette 
and I wanted this for a while. It just has a beautiful, beautiful colour story. I'll just open it up so I can show you. It also comes with customizable stickers. So you can like stick these stickers on it, which I think are really, really cute. They have some really cute little options and I'll probably actually use these because they're really nice. I was never a massive Friends fan, but when I saw this palette, I just fell in love. And this is what it looks like. I actually saw this online a little while ago. And I told my mum about it and obviously she took notes and checked me to it for my birthday. It is just beautiful. I feel like you've just got every single shade in here that you'd want. I am really obsessed with these kind of like greeny blues at the moment. I think these are going to probably be the first ones that I test out. So I love these yellow, this kind of like lime green, the darker green, and then this beautiful green shimmer. I think it's going to be really pretty. I also think some of these like shimmers up here, the champagne tones, would be really, really good as highlights as well. So I kind of want to try that out. Love the fact that it's in a Forever Flawless case and the full-size mirror too. So do look out for a video on this soon because there will 100% be one. I then also got a journal. This I nearly picked up. I feel like my mum just goes around shops and just watches me to see what I'm about to pick up and then look at the price tag and I'm like maybe next time and she just writes down every single thing that I want to buy and I'm so so grateful for that because she is so so incredible and she just does everything with me I am the luckiest person alive and she saw me pick up this self-care journal I couldn't afford it at the time because I was still waiting for my money to come into my account from like being paid um so I couldn't afford it at the time so I didn't pick it up and then I completely forgot about it this is from Aldi but it is so nice i actually feel like little naldi right now you can get so many good like sneaky buys like so many good really cheap things that are such good quality so this is a wellness journal and it's to help you kind of organize your life and just sort things out so i'll just show you inside i also love the fact that the pages aren't dated so you don't have to do it every single week or if you miss a week by extinction on holiday or whatever you're not gonna like miss pages and it looks end up looking like really unneat so at the start you've got all these different stickers that are all really motivational so it says me time don't hesitate love yourself big dreams it's got different arrows different stickers done you got this drink more water breathe be kind it's got all sorts of different ones that i think are just really aesthetically pleasing and then it's got another page so they have 90 stickers in total and then the front it says this journal belongs to i do love like journaling writing things down because i find it really therapeutic and it just i feel like it gets things out of your head as well and then at front it says my wellness this year i would like to achieve one thing i want to focus on and my word for the year is i think those are really motivational and then it's got three tabs down the side here the top one says mind and body the next one says intentions and then the bottom one says reflection i think it's split this up really really well into the different categories and then it's got different things to do like self-care map a mind map, a body map, different activities you can do, uh, different meals that you can have where you can plan your meals out, things like that. Under the intentions, it's got creating intentions, it's got an intention map, it's got affirmations, it's got all sorts of things. And then it's got this bit here where it says intention, affirmation, how I'll get there, obstacles I may face, how I'll overcome them, and how I might need this. I absolutely love this i think this is a great idea and then obviously it's got the reflection part which is then where you reflect on everything you've done in the journal so far i think this one is going to be the best section for me so this one here is laid out into little tables you can't really see it as well on camera because the white washes it out but it's laid out into the tables and it says week of and you can fill up what week it is in intention affirmation then start of the week how are you feeling You've got meal ideas, tasks that you need to complete, self-care this week. And then it says a weekly reflection and says what went well this week? What did you learn? What are you thankful for? How are you feeling? And then any other thoughts and feelings. I think this is really good because I feel like it really gets out how you're feeling, what you're thinking. And I just think it's a really, really good organized way to journal. I then have my final gift, which is my main present and... I'm still in disbelief that this happened. I genuinely thought that I was dreaming when I opened this up. I could not believe it. I still feel incredibly lucky and I still don't believe that it did happen. So I was trekked to a brand new iPad mini. I, yeah. Honestly, me too. I have no idea how this happened. I am incredibly lucky. Like I said, I don't want to brag at all in this video. 
I just want to be so thankful and so so grateful because I'm still shocked that this even happened like how like i was not expecting it at all so i got an ipad about 10 years ago probably about when they came out and i got an ipad mini when the ipad minis came out i think it was like the first ipad mini that came out that i got and i loved it it was my baby i obsessed over it i used it every single day and then it got to the point because it was the first model of the ipad mini it got to the point where apple stopped updating it so I couldn't use any of the apps anymore. I couldn't log into the app store. And then because Apple stopped bringing out updates for that one because they discontinued it because they brought out the new bigger and better ones, Apple stopped doing any updates. So I couldn't connect it to the internet. I couldn't do anything because it said like in order to use my iPad, I had to update it. So it got to the point where all I could do was go on YouTube and Safari. And then like I said, I couldn't use the internet anymore. So I literally couldn't do anything on it. The only thing that I could do was listen to music. But by that point, I'd had the iPad for what, like 10 years? and one of the speakers had blown so only one of the speakers worked and because it was such an old model of ipad there wasn't that many places that would actually repair it and it would cost so much money so the fact that the rest of it wasn't working as well because of the updates i decided to kind of like give in on it and it's just been sat in a jar for the last like two years now and i haven't been able to use it I've been telling my mum and my dad and my auntie and everyone, even my boyfriend I've been telling, for the last like year I've been telling them that I really want to work hard in YouTube, in TikTok, in you now, in Instagram and I want to put to a side like £50 every month to be able to then buy an iPad at some point. I said it'll probably take me a couple of years to be able to afford one because of how expensive they are and I wanted to work for it and I wanted to buy one. And then all of a sudden, like I haven't even mentioned this for months, but all of a sudden in my birthday, I got an iPad mini. I'm still blown away by this and I'm so, so incredibly grateful for this, but I'm blown away. So this is what she looks like. I am completely obsessed. It is one of the purple ones. Please mind all the fingerprints. I did actually clean this before the video so it looked neater and somehow it's still got fingerprints on it. This is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. So there isn't actually a home button on this one. It's volume buttons and stuff at the top. It's got touch ID to log in with. And I'm just so obsessed. I've literally not put it down since I've got it. I have been editing on it. I've been doing my thumbnails on it, on my streaming stuff. And it's so helpful for work. And not only that, I've been playing games again on it. Like I used to be obsessed with Heyday and Sims. Not gonna lie, I've started those again and I'm obsessed. I've been creating my little houses on it, I've been milking my cows on it and I just think sometimes it's good to be able to switch off from the world and just like have your own little things that you like to do and with that I can. So that is everything that I got for my 21st birthday. Like I said, I'm the luckiest person ever. This isn't me bragging at all. I really don't upset anyone or make anyone think that at all because I'm really not. I just love watching these videos so I wanted to create my own. But thank you so much for watching this. I really hope you've enjoyed this. I have had the best time and thank you all so much for all the love and the birthday wishes. I really, really appreciate it all. But that is it for me for today. Do not forget to smash that thumbs up button if you did enjoy this. Make sure you leave me a comment of any of the videos you'd like to see. Maybe be trying out any of these things like that and please do click that subscribe button because it would mean the absolute world to me that's everything from me for today i really hope you've enjoyed this and i hope to see you all in a video very very soon bye